right, so here we are. And we got a couple of guys over there. Okay, he took him out. He took him out. Bunch of garbage. We got two more people around the corner there. Okay, see, this is where I was like, this is where Mead is being all ignorant and dumb, really is not paying off. <laughs> um, let's just repair that. And we'll drop that, we'll drop these, drop some dirty water, a blood bag, because why not? And unfortunately, we're going to have to drop a stim pack. And we'll also drop, um, Couple sunsets as barillas. We'll be good. Okay, boy repeater, we got one of those so we can repair it. And some ten millimeter rounds. And then in order to make sure the effects of that all go through, just wait. And then drop another save. That's not nice. And there's two people in here. One of them has a good gun, I think. And I can see, <laughs> I can see that that person has that the little lead pipe there. Yeah. So that's not the person that I care about. The person I care about is right here with this funky haircut. Not that, not that this person has a funky haircut, but this is the person I need to take out. Yeah, it looks like I'll do that. You like that? With a high enough strength, we can just actually stomp on those little bugs. So I'm not going to waste any ammo. Yeah, I'll take that person out. Stomping on these guys and grabbing the sunset sarsaparilla. And take the leather armor and some ammo. Microfusion cells, nice. Those don't matter really right now, but um, whatever. Just a little for you extra always helps. We'll be getting tons. By the time microfusion cells matter, which is going to be around level 7, um, which really isn't too far from now, like maybe within two hours or so we'll be there. Probably less than that. Um, yeah, then we'll have the Q35 matter modulator, and we'll have tons of microfusion cells. And we will be, uh, at the time for our level, very, very powerful. Such an early state in the game, at least. And we'll use that weapon throughout the entire entire playthrough. Always be one of the go-tos. And here, yep, there's some rad scorpions, which are kind of annoying, but if we play it right, we should be able to take them all out. They are sort of powerful, but... Out, I can always um, 
Yeah, you know what I'll do? Is just for the heck of it, and this could go really bad for me. Um, but if I hit like a little bit behind them, it should still be able to damage them without really damaging me. So those ones in the back are pretty crippled, and they're not gonna make. They're not a threat, I'd say. And we can take out the guy in the front here. Hopefully, but they're all running away. Volume's really low in games, so I'm like trying to keep an ear out, sort of, for f like any. Oh, yeah, one's behind me, but he's a little baby. That should be a level right there. We're almost out of ammo for this thing. Okay, so repair goes up to 65 this time around, and energy weapon goes to 60, and then we'll do educated. Mm, there's a ball cap here that we need, get the cash register, get the ammo. This thing's locked, which unfortunately we don't have the skill for. Nah, we're over encumbered. So we get a pair of those. Um, I don't repair this. We're really close to uh, a vendor, so we'll be getting rid of a lot of this in a second. And we're going up there. This is the uh, Mojave Outpost. So this is an NCR area over here. And what the heck was that? Baby Scorpion? I don't know. Um, <coughs> yeah, this is an NCR outpost up here. So there's actually a few, there's three quests here that we'll be doing. Uh, two of them are kind of the same quest, really. Um, and actually, we're not going to take them right now. We'll only take one of them. Um, the other two we'll kind of do here as part of the main quest. And we won't be on the main quest for too much longer. Um, it, the main quest just, it's its like you do it because it's just kind of like there. But this is the most convenient path. Um, and this guy is one of the quests that we'll be doing. Um, But yeah, this is just kind of like a path that we're on, so we might as well do the quest because it's the best way to get to the strip where like Gunrunner's hey arsenal is and all that thing? stuff, so... Um, this guy looks weird. Uh, his energy cells. And nothing else that we need. He might have mods? No, he doesn't. Um, yeah, well... Only we'd have that right now. <laughs> Get rid of these. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of all the heavy garbage. So I'm just kind of like giving them some more. Okay, there we go. Let's freed up a ton of space. Whoa. And then, yeah, we can go in here. Oh, um, yeah, this guy. Ranger Jackson. Looks like we got a new vis. Um, any way I can help? Sounds like a deal. So there's some ants, so essentially the traders don't want to come to this town because one of the highways to get here is covered in a bunch of ants. 
So we're gonna find it in our heart to help this guy out and take out all those freaking dummy ants for him. And we're gonna also take a pit stop right here. Patrolling the Mojave. She has some stuff that we can buy, but we also want bottle cap. New face oh, in the Lacey. Uh, what do you got to trade, Lacey? Energy cells. And ten meter pistol we'll get rid of. Get rid of these, we could repair them, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. Get rid of that. Switch back to this actually. We're gonna go to our world map and we're gonna fast travel right here. Okay, turn around and then right here, that bridge is supposed to like go as an overpass over the highway, but the bridge is broken. But as you can see on our radar, the ants are here. Shots off on that nerd. Kill him before he gets to us. We'll just waste the rest of our ammo here. Nope, that doesn't have anything. Uh, we'll use this. There's another giant work grant, so we might have to we might have to switch over to our laser pistol to take care of him. But we'll see. We'll get there. Is that him? Yeah. So save just in case. But if we kinda run backwards and dance around this guy, we should be able to do it. Yeah, no, we got him. He almost killed us, but. So garbage. I think that's it. Oh, there's one more. Another little guy. If that was a big guy, I would have had to drop a bunch of stim packs or whatever, because we would have died even if we turned around and ran. And I'm pretty sure that just quest updated and said all the ants were dead. So, hopefully. Otherwise, I just wasted a bunch of time. Coming back here, that is. You oh, know. I always get confused which one's which. So Ranger Jackson is in this building. Appreciate the help. Okay, so he gives us some supplies, 90 XP, killed some garbage, worth it. Now we'll go back to the Nipton Road Stop. The first part of the game is kind of boring here just because of how many times I have done it. And I am going to... Couple of those and switch over. And 
no. There is a chance of dying up here. Um, I'm trying to see when the uh, items fade in, but I think just past that broken sign right there, there's also a destroyed building. And in that area, we have some jackal gang members. And last time I played through this part, because I did start a playthrough recently with guns, but I just kind of got bored of it, and I uninstalled the mods I was using, which was a bunch of gun mods uh, for this specific playthrough, so. Um, probably won't ever be going back to that save, but yeah, when I was doing this before, I went over to that side too, and I was just being risky. If you go over to that side, you can fight a bunch of rad scorpions, and there are giant rad scorpions there, so. From such an early level, it's a... Uh, it's a pretty tough battle, but I did it. I think I had to load the save like once or twice though. Who's there? The other person. Oh, this is the person. Pork and beans and pork and beans. I only have eight shots left. I think there might be a couple more over there. But, oh my gosh. Alright, these are the people I was thinking of. Mine, and I think there's grenades here. Okay. People are still fighting up there. There's two people fighting over some star caps, is what it is. And we'll just end up taking them both out, or whichever one survives after they're done fighting each other. So we're just going to keep trekking along. I guess we'll switch over to this. Service rifle. Oh yeah, one of the weapons, I, or one of the mods I have installed is the weaponry texture pack, which I believe is what changed the way my, um... Did you see that? That guy was going to kill me. My laser pistol looked. I am now. I was just minding my own business heading west when that psycho came out of He kept shouting about stars or No idea, lady. All right. We're going to take her out. Oh, crap. This guy sucks if she's tough. <laughs> caps off that. That's huge, because we need 50 to do the quest, so just we have like some, something like 15? Maybe 14? Yeah, 
actually one thing I forgot to do already is freaking get Eddie. We put those points into repair and we were gonna do that. Would have helped with like taking out the giant ants and shit like that, but oh and this guy is just kill him. Just kill him. Oliver's swan it. Because it's such a douche. He's a powder ganger. Or maybe he was a powder ganger, that's what he says, but Now here's actually our first encounter with the Legion. Um, they essentially burned this town to the ground because this town was run, I think, was like Don't in worry. control by I the powder gangs or something like that. I, I want you to so teach they came here and the they essentially had a lottery. And the, the lottery was especially just essentially Lord how you die. And only one of the tickets was um, survival. And uh, that's the guy who we found, Oliver Swanick, but he's just kind of douchey. I don't know why, but pretty much everybody who plays this game doesn't like him. Um, and, uh, yeah. He won the chance to survive where all the other others got crucified and killed and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. That's that. Anyways, uh, we're nipped in. We're going to go back to the Mojave Outpost because they're talking to the thing. He just told us to spread the word of the Legion and tell people what they did there. So we come back here and we talk to that uh, black dude somewhere around here. Is that him right there? I see him? Yep. Heard you helped out Jackson. Yep. Legion attacked Nipton. And just for telling them that the Legion attacked Nipton, we get 225 experience, which happens to earn us a level up right now. And I'm going to put it into lockpick. We haven't dumped much in there yet. Um, we'll hit that at 15x level up, but for the rest of this, energy weapons. And then the other person is up there. And it's also for the same thing. She just says, hey, what's the smoke coming from Nipton? And we say, oh yeah, no, I've been there. Uh, Legion attacked. So she's saying the same thing. Um, That's and getting more experience for it. And Mojave's gone to hell, except Mike Plus. Um, Prim. So, boom, try to fix, run the repair. Companion protocol begin. So, now we have Eddie, and we have the hand sensors perk. With that, we essentially have a 10 perception, so take off the stupid hat now. <laughs> Alright. And with that, That'll be that episode. Next time we'll be in Nipton, heading over to Novak.